Hi, my name's Eric, I play trombone, and welcome to part one of my Q&A videos. Uh, so last week I put out an announcement on my channel, on Facebook, and on Twitter asking you guys for questions for me to answer in a Q&A. And I got enough questions between all three of those that I decided I was going to split it up. And so this week is going to be uh, the YouTube comments, and next week will be Facebook and Twitter questions. So let's start with the YouTube comment questions. Violin Gamer asks, what is my recording process? Uh, if you mean like the specific act of me recording, uh, once I walk into my room, one of the first things I do uh, is I make sure I'm warmed up. And then after I'm warmed up, I, um, I do at least, if it's trombone, I do at least one run of the song beforehand just to make sure that I am like, I'm aware of what's happening and that I'm listening to the music and making sure that I'm actually, you know, playing what I'm supposed to the way I'm supposed to play it. And then same thing I guess with rhythm section is I'll generally go through the part at least once just so I'm not wasting my time trying to record and like sight read the part on the spot. Gamer of the Winds asks, what's my favorite video game soundtrack? Uh, so I haven't really had a chance much to display it on my channel, but I really love the music from all of the Kingdom Hearts games. I think that Yoko Shimomura has done some of her best work for those games and has written some of the most powerful video game music I have ever heard. Um, and I haven't had much time to just because I want to make sure if I'm going to do a Kingdom Hearts cover that I'm going to do it right and give it my full attention. So this summer I'm hopefully going to do some Kingdom Hearts covers very soon and I'm really excited about it. Um, if I had to pick just one specific Kingdom Hearts game, I would probably go with Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, Max Ramos asks, what mic do I use to record my trombone? So I can't show you right now because I'm recording with it and it's probably not in frame. And I actually list it in all of the descriptions of my trombone videos. Uh, I record with an MXL 990. Uh, it's a condenser microphone and I don't know if there's a USB version, but I use the XLR version. It's a very... It's a very uh, well-versed microphone. It, you can use it for all kinds of things. I actually use it for pretty much everything. I know it's not the best microphone for recording trombones, but considering that better microphones are more expensive and I'm a poor college student, I kind of have to make it work. And I think it does a pretty good job uh, for what I've done so far. Uh, so Crystal Dennis asks a ton of questions, so I'll just go down the list. Uh, how do I keep up recording video for my covers every week without getting burnt out? Uh, if you mean specifically the video part, it's kind of a thing of just video editing. Although it kind of sucks at times and it's one of the more tedious aspects of making YouTube videos. Uh, it's 10% of a thing that I love the other 90% of, so it's kind of just something I'm willing to put up with. Uh, and usually I can find some way to make it fun, like I can at least listen to music in the background or like... I don't know, just something to make the time pass a little better, uh, so it doesn't seem as boring. Um, as far as, like, if you mean actually putting out a video every week, I am someone who... I really love making uh, covers on YouTube, just because it's kind of like... In most other aspects of my playing, I'm told what to play, like in a band or in lessons or whatever. So this is kind of a personal thing for me, that I can just come home and make the music that I want to make and have a lot of fun doing it in conjunction. I have fun playing the other music, but like, I have the most fun when I'm in my own element making things entirely from my own, like, that I want to make and it's all in here. How do I handle scheduling myself to stay on top of uploading YouTube videos? So uh, this is something I've actually started doing pretty recently, um, is at the end of the week, so Saturday night, I'll sit down and I'll write out a schedule for what I want to get done next week and when it needs to be done by. So like, I'll say that Monday is rhythm section day, I need to have piano and bass recorded with video. Uh, and then like, Tuesday is trombone day, so I'll do trombones, and then probably since the microphone's out, I'll probably do any percussion I need to do. And then like, Wednesday is mixing day. Thursday is video editing day, Friday I'll come back to the mix, uh, just, it's, it's a pretty basic schedule but it helps me stay on track because I know that if at the very least I can tell myself if nothing else you need to get these things done today, it makes it seem a lot more manageable. Favorite candy bar? 
I really like Paydays. Paydays and Take Fives are really good. I think I like Paydays better though. And then favorite non-video game music artist. So two come to mind off the top of my head. Um, I really like Snarky Puppy. They're a really great like jazz fusion band. That's really the best way to describe them. They've done all kinds of like really cool music and there's some incredible musicians. Um, I'm going to link to some Snarky Puppy in the description because if you haven't heard Snarky Puppy, you need to hear Snarky Puppy. <laughs> My other favorite non-video game artist, and this is kind of a guilty pleasure for me, is Ariana Grande. I really like her music. I think she um, she's a really great vocalist and she has some stupidly catchy music that I just can't help but love because I'm a dork. Uh, Sombra De La Gata says, Sup, why'd you choose to cover VGM? Uh, so I guess I've probably told this story before, but like my origin story as it were, um, I had a snow day out from school in my last year of high school, and I was watching an Insane in the Rain music cover, um, I don't remember which one, but I said to myself, that sounds like fun. So I tried it, and I made a very, with my snow day off, I made a very bad cover of Emerald Hill Zone from Sonic 2. And I really had fun with that, so I just kept doing it, and I got better at it, and now here we are today. Um, as far as, like, video game music specifically, I'm just a nerd, and that's what I like, so it seemed like fun. Uh, Crisis Music asks, how long does one cover take start to finish? Uh, so this is... There are multiple ways to answer this question. <laughs> um, like, time-wise, like, if you're counting exclusively the time that I'm working, I would say the average cover takes around 30 hours, 30 to 40 hours between uh, recording, arranging, mixing, editing, all that stuff. But like depending on how busy I am, that can take place over the span of several days. Like Chemical Plant Zone that I did last week, I was able to do that like start to finish in two days because I'm on summer break, so I just had like as much time as I want to do that. But like during my school year, it would probably take me, it would have probably taken me about six days to finish that because I would have had so much other stuff to do. All right, so Donovan Porter also asks a bunch of questions, so I'm just going to go through the list again. Uh, my favorite Pokemon game. I think it's a tie between Gen 3 and Gen 4. Because um, I spent a lot of time when I was younger playing Pokemon Ruby on a Game Boy Advance. I had a purple Game Boy Advance, it's really fun. But once I got Pokemon Pearl, I played that, like, all the time. And it also had the migration thing, so you could, uh, you could send your Pokemon from Pokemon Ruby to Pokemon Pearl. Um, and so I did that once I got to that part of the game. I must, I think I logged close to 260 hours in Pokemon Pearl. So I'm actually going to say that Gen 4 Pokemon is my favorite Pokemon game just because that's probably one of the games I've spent the most time on. I think the only game I've probably logged more time in would be Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, would I ever consider covering songs other than video game music? Um, so I did, in last fall, I did a cover of This Is Gospel by Panic! at the Disco. And I really enjoyed that. Like, I had more fun with that than I thought I would because it wasn't a video game song. Um, so I have done that before, and I've been tossing around some ideas of like some movie soundtracks. Um, I just saw Wonder Woman last night, and I really like that music, so I've been thinking about doing something from that since I saw the movie. Um, I've been thinking about doing something from La La Land just because it's kind of jazzy, and I kind of like jazz, if you couldn't tell. I've also been thinking about doing some anime music. Um, a couple of things that came to mind was the music from Attack on Titan, uh, just like the first opening theme, and the opening theme from Your Lie in April. I started watching that last fall, and I never finished it because I was really busy and I really need to go back and finish it, but I really like that opening theme, so it's possible that I will cover some non-video game music in the possibly near future. We'll have to see. Um, do I play any instruments that uh, we haven't seen in my covers. So this is an oboe reed and this is a bassoon reed and I don't have a flute with me but I had to, this past semester, I had to learn oboe and bassoon. Uh, I'm a music education major and so as part of that they make you learn like the basics on every instrument. So although I do not own a flute, oboe, or bassoon, I know how to play them. <laughs> 
so maybe someday you guys might see some jazz oboe, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> And then finally, how do I deal with burnout? Like, would I not make a video for a week if I got tired? Um, like I mentioned before, I really love what I'm doing, so it's really hard for me to get tired of it because I can always find a new way for it to be interesting. I'm also extremely motivated because I'm starting to put more time into this channel and I want it to do well. So I'm really excited about it. And it's kind of hard to burn out when I have this much excitement about it. Nathan Squares asks, ye or ye? Ye. Sirkini says, congrats on 500 subs. Question, favorite nom video game music songs? Uh, so two come to mind for me. Um, one's a film tune and one is a, um, one's a pop song. I really like, I haven't seen Inception, or at least I haven't seen all of it, but I really liked Time by Hans Zimmer. It's just the, one of the first times I heard it, I don't remember why I heard it, but it was just this really powerful soundtrack. I just listened to it and I was like, whoa this is cool it made me i when i was a sophomore in high school i wrote a paper about it because they wanted you to write a paper about how something made you feel and i just it was hard to describe the emotions that that made me feel the first time i heard it but it was it's something else i would highly recommend you go listen to it if you have the time uh the other one that comes to mind i previously mentioned ariana grande i really like one last time just because it's a catchy pop song and I like Ariana Grande. JNSK asks, how the heck was college? So college keeps you very busy, um, but it was really fun and I learned a lot while I was there. So if you're on the fence about college, I would strongly recommend it. Obviously it's not for everybody, but like college was great. Uh, it makes you very tired all the time, but it's definitely worth it. Hold on to your butts, asks another list of questions. Uh, does pineapple go on pizza? Yes. What has been your biggest obstacle so far in your YouTube experience? Um, without saying school is a distraction because that's really cliche, um, it has been really difficult to balance performing well in school and maintaining a YouTube channel. Uh, so. That has really been my biggest struggle, It's just making sure that I'm succeeding at school as well as uh, succeeding on YouTube and helping myself. How do I define success? To me, success is doing what you do well and being happy with how you do it. You could have a lot of money, but that's not everything. Like, yeah, money is really important, but it's not, I wouldn't say you're successful if you just make money. If I worked at like a bank or at Walmart or something, I, I would be making a little bit of money, yeah, and it would be like a sustainable income. But I would not be happy with what I was doing and I would not feel like I am a successful person because I am not doing something that I enjoy and I'm not doing it to my fullest potential. Would I rather lose one of my fingers or all of my toes? I need all of my fingers to play piano and trombone, so I'm gonna have to go with my toes. Um, though they both sound painful and I'd rather do neither. But that's all for this week. Uh, next week, I will have the social media questions video out. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys this Saturday with a new cover.